sounds like trouble. Sensei. <laughs> 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 About time you showed up. You're welcome, Sensei. You're the ghost. What happened here? His caravan was ambushed. Lots of attacks lately. People say you're stealing supplies, sided with the Mongols. Rest easy. I'll discuss this with Lord Sakai. Tomoe is behind this. She sows paranoia and fear. Attacking caravans, blaming us. I caught up to his group too late. Saved him, but not the others. Where was he ambushed? Close. Why? Find the ambush site. Track the rest of Tomoe's group to their camp. That makes sense. What's wrong? Nothing. She has me off balance. We'll put an end to that. Rest here. Eat the food I gave you. And wait a while before you leave. Thank you, Sensei. Show me where he was ambushed. How did you find me? Someone heard a convoy being chased. People avoid the roads because of Tomoe. When I caught wind of a merchant chancing a supply run, I followed. Why would Tomoe attack supply runs in Kushi Prefecture? There's no strategic importance. No. But Kushidera Temple inspires people. Could be a Mongol effort to break morale here. You don't sound convinced. I think that's part of it. Not all. Tomoe betrayed everything I taught her. Then she betrayed me. And after me, her home. I'll hunt her past the horizon if I must. There's the convoy. And more victims of Tomoe. Let's see what we can learn. It's a warning to the people of Kushi. From Tomoe. From Lord Sakai and Sensei Ishikawa. No travel is permitted on these roads. On pain of death. Crude, but effective. They took off down the road. And we'll find them. No other survivors. Japanese and Mongol arrows? Of course. This is the last time Tomoe and her men will ambush anyone in Kushi Prefecture. Come. Hurry! Dismount here. Quickly. There's no time to scout the camp. Now who's rushing in with his hakama half tied? <gasps> Why is she here alone? I'll cut her loose. Help! Still. Oh no. No, please, no. We're here to help. She said... She said... Tomoe, what did she say? She said I could live until the samurai came. No! On the ledge!
Sakai. Tomoe set a trap for us, and we walked right into it. I spoke with her two days ago. Tomoe? The captive. Heard her talking about a Japanese woman she saw with the Mongols. I asked her to find out where they were camped and report back. You did what? It could have gone the other way. We'd be standing over Tomoe's body instead. You talk about what it means to be a warrior. How Tomoe undermines that. But you and she are the same. You expect us to be perfect. Your uncle, me, Masako Adachi. But only a child expects perfection of his elders. Finish your thought, Sensei. We all carry weapons. We all choose between life and death. And you're too comfortable with that power. And if I weren't, I would be dead. And so would you, ghost. Not everyone can be a samurai. But we're all killers. Tomoe isn't finished yet. I guess they shall go north to curry favor with the Mongols. We'll find her. Someone in pain. Stay back! Oh, forgive me. I thought you were one of them. That statue was one of Master Izo's. It wasn't enough for the Mongols to kill my father. They had to desecrate his legacy. You're Master Izo's son. I'm sorry to hear he's gone. We won't see his like again. This statue was his best. I could restore it if I had his tools. But his killers have taken our home, too. I'll get the tools. And we'll honor your father's memory by restoring his work. Thank you, my lord. Our home is just up the mountain road. And if you can avenge him... I will.
Master Izo's home. Stand and fight! Someone's using it. Master Izo. Who are you? He's alive. What do you want? Master Izo, I'm glad you're alive. Your son thinks the Mongols killed you. <sighs> Poor boy. I'll take you to him. No. The reason I'm alive is because a Mongol general admires my work. The Mongols are mutilating your sculptures, destroying your legacy. He wants me to create a masterpiece for Kublai Khan himself. I can't refuse. Gather your tools. We're leaving. Which of my statues is damaged? The Bosatsu down the road. I created that to honor my son's birth. It's not my finest work. He disagrees. Mamoru is a good son. But his eye for art has always been lacking. How could you think that creating a statue for Kublai Khan is more important than your family? Or your own people. Family and nations wither and die. But the tender curl of Kanon's fingers, the fierce stance of a stone warrior in mid-strike, they are eternal. You can have both your family and your art. A samurai cannot serve two lords. It's the same for an artist. That's a sad way to look at the world. The world is a sad place. I love my son, but I serve my art. This way. Defending your legacy. I destroy it all to have him back. All you can do is honor his memory. Be the man he thought you were. I'm sorry, my son. 